everybody, it's the one and only Brickhouse here, and we're talking Aquaman 2. Before I jump into the video, though, please take the time to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, and uh, smash that like button. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So with that, let's dive right on in, shall we? It's been a rough year for comic book movies, superhero movies in general. Whether it's Marvel, DC, movies that performed or underperformed. And now we have the upcoming, actually going to be out tomorrow, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom eyeing an opening weekend even more disastrous than the Marvels. And the Marvels is pretty bad. So a little background here. December is typically a really good month for uh, Hollywood, for the theaters. There's usually one big hit in December, usually around Christmas. 2021, we had Spider-Man No Way Home, opening to a massive $260 million. Then it was Avatar Way of the Water. 134 million. Both those movies grossed two billion dollars worldwide. That's billion with a B. 2020, yeah, we'll toss that out. That was a pandemic. But in 2019, we had the rise of Skywalker. 2018, we had the first Aquaman movie. That was at the height. Of the superhero genre, mind you. Aquaman shocked pundits when it exceeded expectations and ultimately grossed over $1 billion at the global box office. Fast forward, 2023, December, right at Christmas time, we have the big, big, big release of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. And what is it projected at? $40 million. Which is less than what the Marvels that was released just a month ago did in its opening weekend, which was $46.1 million. So this is a big ouch for Warner Brothers Discovery. Now... It's not all bad. Overseas, it appears that they're expecting it to earn somewhere between 75 and 80 million. At least that's according to Deadline. Taking its worldwide bow to somewhere around 110 million by the close of business Sunday. But isn't this a holiday weekend? I mean, Christmas is on Monday. People go to the theaters on Christmas. I used to go to the movies on Christmas in the evening. So my guess, that $40 million, and this is just my guess, will probably be over the Thursday through Monday holiday, is what I'm guessing. Now, some people out there think those estimates are just a tad, 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 tad too high. This year we've seen movies from the DCEU, Shazam! Fear of the Gods, it drew $30 million its opening weekend. The Flash, 55. Blue Beetle, 25. What do they have in common? They all underperformed. Now, if the trend keeps up, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will underperform too. Maybe end up being closer to 30 million instead of 40 or 40 plus. I mean, it could even be less than the Blue Beetle. Now, there's a couple things that aren't helping matters because it appears that uh, Warner Brothers Discovery has basically given up on this movie. Um, no premiere, no red carpet, no party. It had a low-key premiere. And there's almost nothing on social media 
about this movie. Oh, did 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 I forget? Oh yeah, that's right. If you go to Rotten Tomatoes right now, you won't see any reviews. That's because the review embargo doesn't lift until tomorrow. The day the movie comes out. Typically, that's not a good sign if they're not allowing reviews till the day the movie comes out. Now, another thing that they don't mention here in this article from comicbookmovies.com is the fact that, remember all those rumors about Amber Heard's role in the movie being cut, her screen time being cut? She's not going to be in the movie very much. I got caught up in those same rumors, I admit. Um, evidently, she's in the movie a lot more than people were let on to be. So, take it what you will. You can say people aren't going to watch it because Amber Heard's in it and they don't like Amber Heard. That's fine. But she is in the movie more than um, some were led on to believe. So there you have it. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The last DCEU movie before James Gunn fully takes over and reboots the DCEU into the DCU. Not looking good. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Are you going to go see it? You're not going to go see it? What are your projections? Throw it out there. Love to see what you guys have as far as your thoughts and opinions on this movie. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when my videos are uploaded here to YouTube. And with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.